Okay, sorry about the air conditioner, just ignore that. This is like my third time filming this video because I keep running out of storage. Hey guys, it's Gianna and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup haul and the four places I went to, I think, is TJ Maxx, Walmart, Five Below, and Forever 21 and like... Those aren't really even drugstores, except for Walmart, I guess. I don't even know. I just bought a bunch of makeup, and all this was purchased in Texas, and you're probably thinking, Gianna, why would you buy all this makeup and haul it back with you on the airplane? Just hear me out. I could have purchased all this stuff from Walmart here in California, but TJ Maxx, not every single TJ Maxx carries the same stuff. That's one reason. There's no Five Below in California, and also I really, really wanted that thing from Forever 21. You get what I'm saying. Why do I look so short? Okay, because I'm short, whatever. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe down below to become a part of the Mac Pack and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy it. And also I want to do a full face of for I also want to do a full face of first impressions. That's a mouthful. But I want to do a full face of first impressions on my channel using some of the makeup that I have purchased here. And I also want to do a makeup collection. So if you guys want to see those two videos, vote right up here on the i button. And this intro is getting very long, so without further ado, let's just go right on ahead and get into it. Okay, so first off, we are going to start off with Five Below, and they don't have Five Below in California. That's why I went to Five Below and purchased all of this stuff. So first, we are going to start off with palettes. So the first palette I got is this Jessie's Girl Colorful Eyeshadow Palette. And this comes with so many different colors, and I think there's like 30 colors. Yeah, there's 30 different colors, and this was like $4, so I thought this would be a good eyeshadow palette to start off with because it was 4 bucks. And eventually I want to get the Morphe 35B palette, which has, obviously I feel like everybody knows what that palette is, but I really want that palette. Um, so I thought this would be good to start off with and see if I like all the colorful colors and then eventually get that one. The next thing I purchased at Five Below is this Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells eyeshadow quad, and it comes with four colors, a transition, I a brow bone, a crease, and an eyelid shade. And I thought this was really, really cute and you can make this look with it. Oh my gosh. Can't even really see. Whatever, yeah, you can make this look with it. And I thought this was really, really cute. And it was like two bucks, 199 something like that. So I got it. The final palette that I got there, this was also $4 and it's this Color Story Cool Nudes eyeshadow palette. Looks like this. We love that. And this is what the palette looks like. Okay, no, we don't need to see the me. But oh, this lighting is just not doing me justice right now. That's what the eyeshadow palette looked like. I did a look on my aunt with this palette, and it turned out really good. Pigmentation wasn't A1, but you know, it wasn't terrible for $4, which that's a good deal. So get this. They had two different ones. They had a metallic nudes one, but that had like a lot of reds and I got, and I already have a palette with a lot of reds in it, so I decided to go with this one because it was new and different. And the final thing that I bought at Five Below is this Wet n Wild Large Eyeshadow Brush, and a lot of people have like talked about this in their videos, and it's the C786, if you were wondering. Okay, so the next place I went to with my aunt was TJ Maxx, and she actually bought all three things that I got here because like I did her makeup a few times. So she wanted to guess pay me back or whatever. I don't even know. Um, but she decided to buy it all. So thanks Aunt Shell, I know you're watching this. <laughs> so the first thing I got is this Paris Hilton Rose Gold Palette and this is a highlight palette. And I'm pretty sure this is like a dupe for the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. One of them, I don't know which one. But this was $3.99. Good deals, good deals, and this is what it looks like. Super, super pretty, and I think I'm going to use this in my full face of first impressions. The next thing I got at TJ Maxx, this was $4.99, and it is this Max Studios Pro Sculpting Contour Palette, and I did already swatch them because I wanted to see what it looks like. I'm gonna use this for my full, actually, maybe, maybe not. But that's what this looks like. You can see all those swatches. I'm not gonna swatch all eight colors for you guys, but you guys can see them. So 
excuse me, let's move on to the final thing at TJ Maxx. Okay, I think this is my favorite thing that I got out of the entire haul. And this was $2.99. That's what it looks like. It is the W7 I Want It palette. Well, eyeshadow collection, apparently. And I think this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using in my full face of first impressions. It doesn't, you can't really, like, see them on camera. Like, it's not showing up good. These, this dumb lighting is not really working out very well today. Yeah, you can't really see it very well, but there are seven shades, I think. I'm mistaken. There are nine shades in this palette, and I think the packaging is, like, super cute, and it's really tiny and perfect for travel size. It's about the size of my hand, and I have a small hand, so this was $2.99. Buy it. So the next place I went to was Forever 21, and I'm so excited to show you guys this. I have... I went on Monday to the mall and I got this, and it is Sunday, well, the next Sunday, obviously, but um, I've already hit pan on one of the shades because I've used this every day since I've gotten it, except for today because we had church, and I wanted to sleep in because I got back from Texas yesterday, but I think I might like that one better, but I haven't used that yet. I've used this, and I've done both of these looks, and I love this palette so much. Oh. It's so pretty, and I'm going to show you guys the shade that I hit pan on. But this is, like, a super pretty palette, and you could, like, create so many different looks with this. And this is the shade that I hit pan on. Right there. It's, like, the, like, I use it to set my eye. Okay, so my memory card just ran out of storage, so I had to import the clips from this video into my computer. So where was I? Okay, so I think I was talking about the Wet n Wild palette. I'm pretty sure. I think I was talking about, like, the shimmers. So there are two transition colors. One, two, three. Three or four shimmers. I can't really tell. This is kind of a shimmer. Kind of, I guess. I don't know. Three to four shimmers and then the rest matte. But I highly recommend this, and it is super cheap. So... Get your hands on this, guys. Okay, so the next place I went to is Walmart, and I'm super excited to show you guys everything I got here. So the first thing I got is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I'm in the shade Bronze Beige Medium Tan or whatever. And I absolutely love this foundation. I've been using it ever since I bought it, and I really like the applicator too. And I'm wearing it today because I love this foundation, but you can just easily put it on your face and then blend it in so i definitely recommend this and the price is just a steal you definitely need this because it's amazing hello yeah there's a car just pulled by but yeah definitely i highly recommend this and for the price of it you definitely get a lot and it's really good so also get your hands on this and I also got the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth foundation and I'm in the shade 120 classic ivory if you were wondering um, I have not tried this out yet but I'm gonna be using this for my full face of first impressions which I think I'm filming right after this video I have so many videos I'm so busy so I'm using this in my next video that I'm filming and I'm really excited to try this out because I've heard good and bad thoughts about it but mainly good that's why I purchased it I forgot how much this was. I think it was like five or six bucks, which is also, I think, a really good deal. So I'm super excited to try this one out. So the next thing I got at Walmart is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I'm in the shade 840B Light Ivory. And I'm so excited to try this out. Um, I, I've only ever tried e.l.f. concealers, and I really want to get the shape tape as well. But I've heard such good thoughts about this. And I really, really want to try this out. So I'm also going to be using this in my full face of first impressions. But I've only used e.l.f. I've only used the e.l.f. 3 concealer. And I don't really, like, wear concealer that often. I'm more of, like, a foundation person, I guess. So I really want to try this out. And if I like it, then I'll get... Then I'll definitely, like, get another one, I guess. Or, like, start using concealer more often, I guess. But I think this one was 4 or $5 as well. I'm not exactly sure three to five probably but um yeah so the next thing I got at Walmart this was in the clearance section and at the Walmart like near me in California they don't have a clearance section in Walmart but the one next to like where I used to live in Texas they do and so I got this nine piece brush set and the quality is actually not bad these were four dollars for this like nine piece brush set um 
they're not the best quality but for four bucks i think that they are pretty good i really like this one let me it's not gonna focus that's fine and the final thing from walmart and the final thing in this haul is this cody air spun loose face powder and i've only had one powder and that's the elf powder but i really wanted to try a loose powder because i don't really like pressed powders um that much but whoa did you see that smoke i don't know so far I've re so far i've really really liked this and i've heard from people that it has like flashback but i don't know maybe i'll try it out i don't know but yeah definitely this is like five or six bucks so i recommend it hey guys so it is currently a few days after the last few clips but i just went to marshall's and i haven't started editing this video yet so i decided to like add on to it so i know this is like a drugstore makeup haul but everything i got is like high end so the first thing i got is this real text real text yep real techniques makeup brush and um thingy set and this was only six dollars which i think is like such a good deal so we're going to open this up and these are so cute And these are like such cute little sponges. And it says it's like a color correcting like kit. But I don't really wear color correctors. So I'm not going to really use it as that. But let me see if I can pull one of these brushes out for y'all. Alright, okay, so this is what they look like. They have like stickiness on it from sticking to the package, but... I'm going to use these for like highlights and different stuff like that. So that is such a good deal. So they have like so many of those as well. So I highly recommend. So the next three items I'm really excited about. This was $2. Like let's just focus right on that sticker right there. $2. Let me take it off. But this is the Too Faced Metal. Too Faced Melted Metal Liquid Metallic Lipstick. It's really, really pretty, and it's in the shade, yeah, that's not going to focus, but it says Melted Metallic Violet, so I think that's the color, and my sister put this on in the car, and yeah, it's this really pretty purple color, and yeah. So the next thing I got is another Too Faced lip -y thingy, but this is the Melted Latex one, and I like this color better i guess it's a little bit like darker but that's okay and i love this it's in the color or shade hot mess it's really pretty and then it looks like this this is gorgeous and this one was 3.99 i put this on in the car too but i took it off there's the like wand and yeah it's really really pretty so and the last and final thing. I am so excited when I found this. So this has a little bit of a backstory. So I picked this up and I was like, I want this. You know, so it had no price tag on it. So I go over to this lady and I go, hey, can you like check the price for this, please? She goes, yeah. So she had no idea what she was doing. Like, I'm just going to say that. She had no idea what she was doing. She didn't know how to like check the price or whatever. And at Marshalls, they don't, like, check the price. They compare it to something. So she walked up and down the aisles trying to find the same exact thing, but I got the last one. So then she decides to go up to the front where they have more of their high-end makeup. And she goes, okay, well, they don't have it here. I go, okay. So she goes, I'm going to go talk to the store manager. So I stay there, and I was, like, looking at something else, and that's where I found the, um, the melted latex one. And that's, like when I bought it or whatever. So then I go to try and find her and I walked up to like the customer service and go, hey, like I found an item and I asked a lady to check the price and I don't know where she went. She goes, oh, what does she look like? I go, okay, so she has like darker hair, she's Asian and the lady's like, oh, okay, I know who you're talking about. I go, okay, she goes, yeah, she left. I go, what do you mean she left? She goes, yeah, she clocked out, but I think I have your item. And so they couldn't find it, so I go back to the makeup section, and it's not there. And then my aunt comes up to me. She she goes, hey, Dion, they found it. I go, okay. 
So I had found, I like watch Marshall's makeup videos or like whatever um, all the time. So I see people buy this and it's like $12.99, right? So then they go, okay, this is going to be $6.99. I go, okay, $6.99. Okay, so I go get in line, I pay for it. I'm like, I just got such a great deal. I got it like half off of like it being half off. So I got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm so excited about this. Do you see that $6.99 tag right there? That makes me really happy. So we're going to open this up. I swatched it in the car, but it had no swatches on it. Never been opened. And here it is. So here is the bronzer. It looks so much darker on camera. Why does it look darker on the camera? It looks so dark. It's really really pretty so that's what it looks like and yeah so I think I filmed an outro yeah I think I filmed an outro so bye go to the outro I don't know <laughs> so that is it for my video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below and if you want to see my full face of first impressions video and if you want me to do a makeup haul or not a makeup haul, a makeup collection video, then click the i button right up there and I will totally do that for you guys. And yeah, so that's everything that I got, that I have for you. You know what I'm talking about. That's everything for this video, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!